Howdy folks, Jake here with Banjo Ben once again. And have you ever felt like just scraping back some of the layers of dirt and grit and grime of everyday life? Well then this video is for you. Except we're substituting life with a banjo head. Because for all of us banjo players, banjo pretty much is life. So uh, it's kind of the same thing. You can hashtag that if you want. <laughs> anyway, uh, as many of you who play the banjo are well aware of, over time, your head can collect some smudges and some dirty spots. I'm going to show you how to remove those. Now, this is just a normal frosted head. And keep in mind, what can happen is that after a long period of time, you can wear through the frosting itself and you'll have clear spots that you see. That doesn't hurt anything. And as far as the dirty spots go, that doesn't hurt anything either. But we can fix the dirty spots. We can't fix the, the clear spots if we've worn through it. So... Uh, we're not addressing that, we're just addressing dirty spots. And as you can see, this one here has kind of a pretty decent sized smudge through here. Uh, there's some off coloration, especially up here where the uh, the thumb was whenever he's playing, probably vamping and stuff up on the closer to the fretboard of the instrument. So anyway, uh, let's talk about how to remove that. All you're going to need is a little bit of water. I've got BanjoBenClark.com brand right here. Don't hesitate, hydrate, that's what we always say. And you want a little bit of bleach powder. Once again, I'm using BanjoBenClark.com brand. Scratch free. Why pay more? 33% more than 21 ounce. Why pay more? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. Why pay more? So if you know the answer, please leave that in the comments. And then maybe a paper towel or something like that. Also, Banjo Ben Clark brand. Okay. If you can't find these items in the store, uh, any generic items will do. You don't have to have the Banjo Ben Clark items. So what we're gonna do, we just take our paper towel. We're gonna put just a little bit of water on there. There we go. About like so. And then we're gonna take our trusty bleach powder. Um, if you can't find the Banjo Ben Clark brand, like Ajax or Comet or something like that'll work too. Uh, you might wanna wear gloves when you're doing this. Uh, I like to live dangerously, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, certainly, you know, do as you see fit. We're going to just try to get a little bit of powder on our wet spot there. You can see. Okay. Then we just take this uh, rag and we'll just gently scrub, kind of in a circular motion, the dirty spots. All right, so see, that one we've already got clean. Looking pretty good. Let's go up here to this side. This is the one where you'll be able to tell the most difference because there's the most contrast here. And like I said, if the head is even much more dirty than this one, this one wasn't too bad. It's just kind of the only example I had for a repair that I'm working on. Uh, customer kind of wanted the head cleaned up and the parts polished up. But uh, even if it's much grungier than this, this technique will work. And you don't have to have the head removed from the banjo either. It can be on the banjo when you do this, as long as you can get to it under the strings. You might have to clean the strings off. There's a little uh, stripe of dirt down here. There we go. All right, good deal. Now, if you do have a logo, you might want to be careful you're not scrubbing the logo off. I don't know if it looked like I was in the from the camera angle or not, but I was being careful not to contact the logo. So uh, when you get done with that, you just want to take a handkerchief or handkerchief, handkerchief, or some similar rag, a dry rag, and then we're just going to kind of wipe it dry and get it all clean. Make sure that this is clean and that you haven't been using it to blow your nose. Otherwise, you'll have to re repeat the first several steps that I showed you. All right, then we've got a head that's looking pretty good. Oh. There we go. Looks pretty clean now, like a pretty new one, for the most part. When I get it back on the banjo, it'll just shine like a jewel. So I hope that helps you all. I've had lots of questions about that. Um, this one actually came from a, uh, um, through an email. I think the, the username was, uh, I make kites out of buzzards53 at yahoo.com or something like that. So I want to thank him for the uh, suggestion and uh, we'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.